Okay, so a natural Christmas wreath is simple, but it is absolutely stunning. And Sarah Yeager of Everwild Florals is actually here to show us exactly how to do that, pairing those flowers and greenery for that timeless combo. So we want to know what's the biggest difference from maybe a wreath that they would get from someone like you or making themselves versus one in the store? Well, really the difference is freshness. The difference between ha picking something up in the store is that typically you're going to see something that most likely has been there for several weeks before you even have the opportunity to bring it home. So whether you are making it yourself or whether you're ordering through Re Everwild, we make an, an effort to make sure that we are sourcing the freshest greenery and blooms that we possibly can. And we were just actually laughing about this. She's like, my car is smelling so fresh right now. My <laughs> house is, I'm making all these, and the price chopper kitchen, it smells amazing right now. So let's get started actually making it. Yeah. What do we pick? So what you wanna start with here is the size of your wire. Okay. I actually have this as an 18 inch. Awesome. By the time that you add all the greenery, it's closer to about 24 inches side to side. So you wanna think about the size mm -hmm. of your front door that you wanna have that size. Okay. We also start with a 22 two gauge wire and I've begun by getting this uh, wrapped here mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is just continue to wrap it around the entire wreath. Okay, can we go for these berries yeah, right at the top? Yeah, we can. Look Absolutely. Okay. This is called pepperwood. I love it because it actually has so much, it's not only the color of the berries, but mm -hmm. it also has the fullness, which is what you really want. Okay. I usually like to layer it if there's anything else. You got some greenery yeah, over here? Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. So this is a really gorgeous evergreen that's okay. really nice. You can even forge your own greens if you want from your yard. Just make sure there are no bugs in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's agreed. the first step. Yeah. Some of the things that would be really common that you would be able to find here would be evergreen, mm -hmm. pine, even boxwood. You Should can we? use all sorts of things. Should we grab one of these next? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Just in for some variety. Yeah. We gotta get I like this. To do... Is this a holly? Yeah, it is holly. So you can do a mix of darker colors, lighter colors, and that really gives you the depth perception that you want. So I try to mm -hmm. do, you know, you can the size of your first bouquet here is going to determine the size of your entire wreath. Okay. So if you start with something that's kind of reasonable here, then it okay. keeps it from being too large. And you're just going to wrap it. Okay. So you start here. You're going to face it a little bit outwards. Mm -hmm. And then once you pull it up, I usually like to kind of put my finger down, and that's going to hold it. Down yeah. And I'm help you right here. That's can beautiful. I do a couple a couple layers? Yeah, in this definitely. Wire wrapping? Give it a good okay. strong pull. That way, all of your greens stay in. Yep. Okay. And I usually Maybe go a third. Yeah, three or four times around is perfect. Okay. So that's your first one. Okay, and that's, that's super easy. And then if you kind of face it outwards just a smidge, and then the next one you're going to face in. Okay. And then we continue to rotate around the entire ring. Okay, now mm -hmm. let's switch gears talking winter floral. Mm -hmm. So I see you've got a white arrangement here. Mm -hmm. This isn't exactly what you would find uh, in a grocery store, right? It's nicer mm -hmm. than that. Absolutely. So the beauty of what we've really tried to do here at Everwild is that we take in designer curated bouquets, and then those are delivered in the Kansas City area, and okay. you can either have one time delivery. We also have a subscription base as well. So if you want to have those delivered once, twice, or four times a month, then that allows you to have fresh you know, flowers delivered to your home or office on a regular basis. Okay, well, Sarah, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, you made this smell so good. One thing I want to know is after you've completed a wreath just like mm -hmm. this, how would you make it last longer? Because people don't want to see these die. Absolutely. So the beauty of all the things that we've chosen here is that these greens will really last for several weeks. Mm -hmm. I usually will give it a good strong spritz with water, and you can actually uh -huh. use a product as well that's called crowning glory and that actually will seal in the moisture and so you can use that on here as well and you can use it either indoor or outdoor and it should last three to four weeks which will get you all the way through the holidays okay talking about that that's amazing three to four weeks of freshness exactly what we need sarah thank you so much for all those tips bill 